another uh, Gambler 500 event uh, with the uh, Utah Gambler 500. We're headed up to Vernal for the uh, Buckskin Cup and uh, we're convoying up with a bunch of the other guys. Got a lot of cool looking cars. Should make for uh, a lot of fun. The campsite for this event is the Buckskin Hills Recreational Complex in Vernal, Utah. They welcomed us with open arms and as you can see, there were full hookups and plenty of room for activities. Once we got set up, it was time to raise the flag and get ready for a great weekend of fun, Gambler 500 style. On the first official night of the event, we went into Vernal for a car show of sorts. Just a little event to get some food, show off the cars, meet some of the locals, and get the word out about what the Gambler 500 is all about. The next morning, it was time to line up for the navigation challenge, while Jesse, the head of the Utah Gambler 500, gave us the rundown of the day's event. You'll see like the seven hour route, the eight hour route, mix them if you want, do whatever one you want, start from the bottom of one of them, run it backwards, whatever. Go in groups. If you guys see other people down on the side of the road, verify they have enough help before you just drive past them. Because you might have the tool that they're struggling with. He's got a great tool. <laughs> Not Danny. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. After that stirring speech from Jesse, everyone loaded up so we could split into groups and decide how we were going to run the challenge. Once our group decided which waypoints to hit first, we headed out. Northeastern Utah has some beautiful back roads to explore, and the whole point of the navigation challenge is to do just that. Ah. <laughs> Traveling the back country of the state with our fellow gamblers is a great way to spend the weekend. We got to see a lot of great scenery and a little wildlife, and before long, we were at our first waypoint. All right, here we are at our uh, first stop on our uh, Buckskin Cup Gambler Rally. After spending a few minutes hanging out of the lake, it was time to move on. The next leg of the challenge took us through a nice little canyon with some beautiful red rock cliffs. Once we were through the canyon, we came to our next waypoint. Although Tyler's big dually was the widest vehicle in our group by far, with some careful driving, we were able to guide him across the bridge. Although you can really see the bridge flexing under the weight of the vehicles, once Tyler was across, the rest of the group crossed without issue.
Not long after crossing the bridge, we met up with another one of the gambler groups. And then we had our first breakdown. Well, part of any gambler is uh, being stuck on the side of a trail, uh, fixing somebody's rig. Uh, this time it is Danny's Mustang. Doesn't want to idle, doesn't like to run a half throttle. So uh, he's trying to solve that, but doesn't look like he's gonna be able to, so we're just gonna have to live with it. But uh, hopefully we'll get back on the road here soon and uh, continue on to the next point. Well, we got Danny moving again, but uh, we got a new problem. Right, for real. I don't know what the f to do there, dude. Well, that's gonna come off. So tough. if you take that off, can you then ratchet strap it to the front? Just replace that with the ratchet strap, basically? How many so tough is what it take? <sighs> Hey Tyler, is that supposed to be attached to the frame? Yeah, just in this general area. Just, uh... Danny, did I tell you how much I don't like Mustangs? Did I tell you that? And you're like, oh, but they're so cheap. Yeah, they, they sure the f are. Well, if you look at that whole trans tunnel and the whole floorboard and everything else right there. Front, front subframe. You're going to cut this. And he welded everything to end. Is this this is not the first time you've laid on a dirt road, is it, Danny? Yeah. Yes. Shitty ones. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. That's why I steal them. Liar. <laughs> After a lot of discussion, Tyler and Danny decided that the best course of action was to use the ratchet straps to hold the suspension in place so that we could limp the Mustang back to camp. We were close to our next waypoint, so we decided to leave the Mustang and hit one more stop before calling it a day. All right, well, we made it to the uh, three corners. Uh, this is the survey point where Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming come together. And uh, this was the next stop on our uh, Gambler 500 tour. <laughs> sure you did, Danny, you made it. His car isn't here, but he made it. That's why you bring two two cars. See, Grandma Keith is here to save the day. All right, here we are at the end of another uh, long gambler day. I uh, had a lot of breaks, so we didn't get as many uh, of the checkpoints in as we wanted. But we're uh, trying to get back to camp as quick as we can, so we don't miss out on the lawnmower and minibike racing that's going to be happening tonight. So we're going to hop back in the car and. Uh, Hopefully get there in time. Let's go. The lawnmower races were a ton of fun and ran late into the evening of day two. Once they were done, it was time to relax by the fire. We had a few drinks, swapped stories about the day's adventures, but before long, we were all talking about the main event of the weekend, tomorrow's races. It's race day. We're getting ready to start the official Buckskin Cup here for the Gambler 500. We're out here in Vernal. Uh, track's looking good. Uh, Racers are getting lined up behind me, and uh, we're about ready to have some action. Let's get to it.
What's up, Crown Vic? Oh, Daddy just about biffed it right there. Oh, he's trying to catch him now. rock rolled it here he backed off of it and then peeled out with a split rim and that was that and part, and I was like, perfect that was too loud of a bang for a tire yeah, <laughs> yeah no it's the entire tire it's a custom two-part gambler rim i was on the course and then i wasn't on the course and then there was a rock and then there were airbags yeah, I, and good. it was it was a fun day had fun no regrets but the car's done here goes nicole Oh, yeah. Get a little wild. Yes. <laughs> you guys, yeah. After watching all that racing action, I was just itching to jump in the pigeon rack and see what the new supercharger could do. I'm not. 
All right, everybody, we've come to the uh, end of another Gambler event. Uh, we were hosted by Vernal this year, and uh, uh, it was great. They were really welcoming. There's a lot of great wheeling around here, some awesome off-road, some uh, beautiful sites. There were some great restaurants. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll definitely be back. Uh, we need to come back here with the Blazers someday to uh, get some, uh, some of the more hardcore stuff in. But... Otherwise, we've had a great time. Uh, thanks for watching You in a Garage. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time. With me. I got you, boo. Thank you. I didn't even do anything. I just laid there. Well, that's fine. You know, that's all that I need occasionally is just someone to lay with. Emotional support. <laughs>